Put a little water on there. Now what? Left Arms hand. in. Where does this elbow go? Hip. In front of your hip. Not out here, because guess what? That moves. <laughs> Not out here, because that moves. In front of that hip, and when it hits, it can't move. So now what? Lean at 7 o'clock. What does this hand do? I lean that hand at an angle, right? And whatever the hand does, whatever the clay tells the hand to do, it does. Now, if your hand isn't against something solid, this is what's going to happen. It gets worse and worse and worse and worse, and you say, Lee, I can't do this. <laughs> Elbow against the hip. Watch what happens. You lean forward. If it's against the hip, bingo, it centers. That quick. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, we lean this way. The angle of the hand tells the clay what to do. The clay is the perfect child. <laughs> it always does exactly what you tell it to do. Exactly. The problem is we're not perfect parents yet, and we don't. We give it mixed signals. Okay. What happens if I lean in here and I tip my hands under like this? You're gonna cut it. Then when I start to lift up, what happens? <laughs> Dramatic things happen. <laughs> and we all get to the past. We won't laugh at you. I would. <laughs> under your breath. I'm under done our breath. It. I'm done if that tears off like that, like we scrape terrible. this off so that it's no longer sticky. We scrape this off so it's no longer sticky. So, excuse me, no longer slippery. We push that on there. We push it down a little bit. You've never showed me that trick. Mm. You've never made that mistake. Yes, I have. Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, so we lean these forwards. Here's another trick. Take your sponge, put it right there in between the thumb and the finger, and then as you need water, you just squeeze the thumb. No, you cannot. Huh? Yes. I'll just do mine. Do not let these hands touch because that stops you from getting past each other. They have to come past each other. Up to the top. Up over the top, bring it down. What do we do when we get bump, down bump? Wrist, wrist. Bend the right wrist, slide over the top. What does that do? Do the sedone. Now, do not push down like that on the back. It's this is so really, really abrasive, and it will tear the skin right off the back. It's warm. I do it, I do it, yeah, I do it quite often. My you first to class, it. the first weekend of my first pottery class, I went home, and this was just... Rock. Mine was and rock. I came back with a cap on there. And I said to the teacher, Why is he doing this? And he said, He didn't say duh, but he said, Well, push in, don't push down. Okay? So, lean, pull this up, step over the top, bring it down. Now, the last time down, we want to leave it a little taller than it was before. This kind of clay, if we can pull it in, is good. Because Look we can it. use that. Can get rid of that. No problem. We were just talking about that. And now it's in a little high. That's going to allow me to get mm -hmm. the height I need easily. How do I open this? You thumb at a point five. five. Yeah, your thumb. Three point degree. Cock the thumb. Tip it down. Push in the middle. Keep it at a forty-five. Now this is exposing new dry clay. So I put a little water in there. That's how you said not to do it. You said not for us to get water, water, water like that. Using water. Did I not say that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're opening. That's the exception. But that's what you do. That's you're not opening. <laughs> While you're opening, it's okay. Oh. Because How far down do so you go in this? So we'll so leave it at three quarters of the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see how well you're listening, baby. I was listening. Oh, we'll, we'll show you exactly what you said. I can make it. He's like, I'm going to work here all day. <laughs> how do I open this now so that it's flat on the bone? Put your thumb back down in there and just pull it Please towards you. you. How wide should this be? How wide should mm -hmm. the opening be? Wide enough for your hand to get in. Wide enough for your hand to get in. That's all you need. Okay. Now what am I going to do with this? Well, fix it, I want to compress the bottom of this. So I start over at 3 o'clock like that and I push with a flat part of the fingers and I come across to the middle. Squeeze it several times. 
When you get to the middle, it will peel off that extra clay. Are you doing that good it. for your, on your plates? Are you compressing them so long? Yeah. Because then you have last term, did it like crack on you? Start before last, I shouldn't Yeah, that's right. Yeah. When you get to throwing porcelain like Alexis is doing over there, you really mm -hmm. have to squeeze it a lot because it's less dense. And if it's less dense across the bottom of the plate, it's going to crack. Yeah, I do be mixed. Be mixed with like a Okay, now this is donut shaped. <laughs> How do I get rid of the donut? You yeah, you compress the top with your index finger. You slow it down to half speed. Well, yeah. And then I'm going to grab the donut. I'm going to put a little water on the sides, and then oh, I'm going to hold this steady, Sorry. and I'm going to come straight up. Ooh, now watch. Oh, you're oh. Right. I was lifting so much that it lifted it right off the Did you have too much friction, or is it just the bad? Uh, I was just lifting a lot. So I just need to ease away from that just a little bit and not pull quite so much. Thanks, you're bad. Try not to straighten it out too much at once. I might have to come back down and do that again. Okay. Now this is rough, rough and bumpy on top. How do I get it flat? Hold and it and then you. This is the part I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay. Now we're running at half speed, and we're n we're ready for the third step. A little literary insight here. If you go to Jeremiah 18, I think it is. The Lord says to Jeremiah, Go thee unto the potter in the village and watch him work. So Jeremiah goes to the village and he watches the potter and it says, And the potter worked his wares and he rent the clay. He is in the pulling stage of forming the pot. So when you read that scripture, it talks about tearing the clay. That's because he's in the process of pulling in it. He loses the slipperiness, and there's too much friction, and it grabs the hands and tears and pulls them together and gets thinner and thicker. The point is, in all of that, that Jeremiah watches the potter, and when the potter tears his clay, he takes the clay and he reworks it, goes back and waves it, comes back and starts again. And what is the Lord telling Jeremiah? He's this is a parable that is, Israel is like the clay, and if I can change the clay, if Potter can change the clay, then the Lord can change Israel. Anyway, go read it just for the description of the process, all right? So, half speed. Now, I already have a little bit of a dip there, and you can see this is bounced over the outside a little bit here. I'm going to come into this. How do I hold my left hand? Curl the fingers. Don't Hold use that. this side. Don't use this side. Use just the tips. Yeah. At three o'clock. Now this is awkward. Your <laughs> hands aren't used to being held in that position. This hand. How do I do the left hand? Fist and pull your knuckle. You make a knuckle with your right hand. Fist, drop out the knuckle and hold it. That tips down. Three o'clock. This thumb goes where? On top. On the back of the outside hand. I make what? A ridge, gently by pushing. Mm -hmm. Now what? Slowly add water. We add water. Hell yeah. Time out. We add a little water to that ridge. Then we come back, and all we have to do is raise the body up, keeping the same distance apart. Now, here's where the challenge is. As you go up like that, the amount of pressure it takes to make that wall go up changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the cylinder, there's more clay to lift. So you have to push a little harder. At the top of the cylinder, there's less clay to lift. And so there's less pressure required to keep that distance. Never mind how it feels. Distance is the important key. The same distance apart, whether it's at the bottom or the top. If you focus on the spacing and not the resistance, you'll be fine. Okay, I squeeze this clay. Don't do a quick pass up there, do it slowly. 
So you get an even layer of water. It's slippery all the way up. Arms against your ribs. Now I have a problem. Look at this. If I go down inside of here, I can't touch the back of that hand. So I'm going to touch the thumb in like that. Curl the fingers. Make a ridge. Ease away. Put a little water back on there again. And now here we go. Make sure those are opposite each other. Up I go. When I get up high enough that I can actually put the thumb on the outside, I do that right away. Keep them the same distance apart. Go straight up. If you find you hit a dry spot, just ease away and add some water. Is that tall enough? Not quite. But it's the right thickness. So now what do I do? How do I make it taller? Taller. Taller. You didn't put that on the thing. I feel like you should have. On what? For the throwing. You, for oh, the when I talk about it on the board? Yeah, you okay. should be shaping and forming. And I guess coloring is kind of like that, but I feel like coloring is better. Coloring. Okay, so I made a little ridge here. That's a good suggestion. I made a little ridge here. It's slightly thinner. I get my arms right against my side. There she goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I come straight up. Now, is it going to be exactly straight? Probably not. If you need to, if you have one spot that bulges out too much, you can come back like that right down here. Now, notice there's a slight wobble to that. What happens if you have a real pronounced wobble? Oh. If you get rid of the real pronounced wobble, reverse your wheel. you take, <laughs> if it twists, you can reverse your wheel. But to get rid of this, the wobble is going like this. So if I push out from the inside and in from the outside, I can push gently together till it goes away. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of water in here so it slides easily. All the way down both sides. And there are a couple ways to do this. Probably the first way to do this, to get it as close as you can, is to put your thumbs straight up vertical, straight down extended like this. You come down to that spot and you ease up to that from both sides. Look, he makes it look so good. Mine always gets worse. Let's do it again. <laughs> now you're doing it different with your hands, Lee. I am because I can't reach that far. Oh, okay. You're right. Hey, I'm a visual learner. Okay, now that's close. I can help that out a little bit by collaring. Oh, good. I know. That's why he's the only... The other guy. thing I can do is to I run the rib up the side on the outside and the fingers on the inside. If you put this right against the clay, there's lots and lots of friction. That's a broad surface and it scrapes the slip away. It gets kind of uh, grabby. It grabs. If I tip this at an angle, then very little of the rib is touching, and there's less friction. And I can come up the side like this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just like a family. Just like my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. You like me too. I stop the wheel. <laughs> to check the thickness, I'll push this through the wall till it appears on the inside, back away till it disappears, and then I measure it on the outside. That's pretty darn yeah. close. Now, can you see anything that needs to be improved with this? The rib? The skirt? Yep. Is it straight? Apparently. Not quite. It barrels mm -hmm. slightly, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right through here? Oh, kind of, yeah. So let's do one more pass. Whoops, it's oh. dry right there. I ease away and add a little water. It is a tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, I know it is mm -hmm. You still keep your distance, Lee. But look, that's going to make your, your bottom smaller, or not smaller, but the same size as your yeah. You mean the bottom of the car? Yeah, we'll be the same. Um, look, now it's off. Never mind. You know what's wrong with it.
Okay, we've got a bump and wobble here, so we'll just kind of ease that back. Is that better? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, what do we do if we want to fix the rim? If it's not quite level? And you uh, put water on it, and then you take your pin. Put water on it so it slides easily, so there's no friction. Mm -hmm. Take your pin tool, rest on the base of the thumb. Slide backward angle, that eases it in. If you go this other way, it grabs it right away. And the only thing that moves as we do this is the pin. Touch the thumb, wait a second, and then lift that off. Works best if you count to five. Yeah. As you do it. People tend to jump through there, don't they? Too yeah. Quicker. Good point. Square <laughs> that. Some people do at least, right? I had to do it like six times. Hmm. I still my pot was from here to like here. <laughs> Okay, I think that's yeah, that's good. How do we how do we finish the rim? A little water in there. Hold this halfway up the chamois. Crazy position. Steven Mantis got those thingies. Touches down over the rim. Ease away and it's done. So, how do we cut it off? Put your grab the wire like that. Make an extra finger with the end. Line that up like an extra finger. Wrap it around. Don't go like don't go like this because it. Just hold that steady. Come around like that. Hold it like this. Run it through the bottom. And then you'll need to write your name on there. Your name on here. And you'll save it. We're not saving this one. Oh, that's even better. Well, that's even better than the first one, yes. Okay. Like, there you go. That's what we're after. Pretty good. All right. We have an hour.